in a previous video, we demonstrated how to set up the application to be able to connect to an SQLite database. And we also had it set up so that it will open or create the database when the application loads. So the next thing is to create a table in which to store the data. And we have the basic stub here of our create table method. And you can see that our method has, I'm going to separate this from the synthesize so it's a little easier to see. So we have create table and we have a bunch of strings here. So our strings are going to take a table name and we're going to have four fields. So we have with field one, with field two, field three, field four. And so we've called the names of these just to match. So this is kind of generic and you could use this, this same code with creating and a lot of other different types of tables. You would just have this, you would add on this line for each of the other fields that are going to be in your table. So the information that we're going to feed to it first, um, we're going to have a variable for our error. So we'll have a character ERR, and we're going to create a, an SQL string. And I'm going to copy and paste this in just because it'll be a little quicker than typing the entire thing out, but we'll review it, close this panel so we have a little more space in here. So we have a string, which is our SQL statement that we're going to execute, and it's a string with format, and we have create a table if not exists. So if the table doesn't exist, then it's going to create it. And then we have a placeholder for the table name, and then this starts our SQL with the fields that we want it to create. So our first field is usually your primary key, so we're specifying general text and it's going to get replaced with field one. This gets replaced with our table name. So our primary key is going to be text and then our next field is an integer and our next field is another integer and then our last field is a text field. So we have field one will be our date, field two will be an integer, field three will be an integer, and field four will be our comments. Okay, once we have that set up, then we just need to execute that SQL statement. So I'm going to paste in some code that, again, we'll review. So we have an if condition, SQL light 3 execute. We're going to tell it to use our database. We're going to take the SQL string that's created here and convert it to a UTF-8 string, which is what SQ or the SQLite 3 uses C strings, so this will convert it to a C string. And we're not getting any callback functions in here, and we are going to say if there's an error to display the error. And if not SQLite OK, so if it's not OK, if it doesn't execute and return this value when it executes, then we're going to say close the database, assert an error, and display this message. Otherwise, if everything's okay, then we'll get a little message that says table created. So now what we need is a way for this to run. So we want this to run when the app loads. So when the app loads right now, we're getting the file path to where the database is, and then we're opening the database. So in addition to that, we want it to create the table if it's not already there. So the natural place to do this will be in the view did load method. So let's bring that up. Okay, so in our view did load, we're opening the database and now we want to create the table. So again, we'll do self and say create table. And then we have all of the arguments that it will take. So the name of our table, I'm going to call this a summary. So. I'm going to use the string summary and the first field I want it to use or to create 
is the date. So again, this, these are all gonna be strings. So that's gonna be the name of my first field. And my second field is gonna be systolic. My next field is gonna be diastolic. And then the last field is comments. So when our view loads, it should open the database and create the table. So let's check that out and run it and see what happens. Okay, so we have our messages here that it opened the database and it created the table. Good, now, next video, we will look at filling this out and how to save the data into the table that we just created.